Nutritional requirements ng mga Pilipino kayang tugunan ng genetically modified crops batay sa mga pag-aaral ng mga eksperto. Samantala, magit na siyam na pong government body sa buong mundo, sinuri at pinagtibay ng uh, ang uh, genetically modified organism o GMO. Si Bel Surara sa detalye. Patuloy pa rin ang usapin tungkol sa kaligtasan at epekto ng genetically modified crops. Marami pa rin kasing mga kababayan natin ang hindi pabor sa mga GMO product tulad ng bititalong at golden rice. Ayon kay Dr. Milton Stokes, Director for Global Health and Nutrition Outreach ng Monsanto, makatutulong ang GM crop sa Pilipinas upang matugunan ang nutritional requirements ng mga Pinoy. Inihalimbawa ni Dr. Stokes, ang golden rice na ayon sa kanya ay may beta-carotene, biosynthesis genes upang labanan ang vitamin A deficiency na isang malaking suliranin ng bansa. Ito ay niya ay makatutulong upang hadlangan o pigilin ang may isa hanggang dalawang milyong death o kamatayan at limang daang libong kaso ng irreversible blindness taon-taon. The question about acceptance of GMO is one of a, a history of miscommunication. When GMOs first entered the market in the late 90s, companies that were involved in the technology talked only to farmers and talked only to other scientists. There was not a lot of effort to speak about this technology to consumers who were eating the food. So as a result of that absence of communication, there was a lot of miscommunication information that developed. Binigyan din ni Dr. Stoke na ligtas at masustansya ang GMO tulad din naman ng anumang conventional crops. Sinabi pa ni Dr. Stokes na mahigit 90 government bodies globally ang sumuri at nagpatibay sa GMO. Farmers have a very tough job of feeding people here in the Philippines, all over Southeast Asia, and all over the world. Farmers are the experts of how to produce food. And when they identify challenges, whether it's an insect or a weed, then we collaborate with them to create a solution that can help meet that challenge or help solve that problem. And when farmers have the tools that they need, then we can ensure an adequate, safe, and affordable food supply is produced and available all over the world. And that is the basis of food and nutrition security. Tatlumpung taon na ang lumipas mula nang sinaliksik ang GMO. Sa may isang daang pag-aaral sa GMO crops, pinatutunayan na ito ay ligtas tulad din naman ng iba pang mga pananim sa pamamagitan ng traditional breathing. Para sa Eagle News, Bell Surara and I'm one with 25.